Good evening. How's everyone doing? I bought me a new book today by Joyce Myers. It's called Healing the Soul of a Woman Devotional. So why don't we start chapter one together? Let's see what she has to say. I love to read. Chapter 1, Healing for the Brokenhearted. And I see right below this chapter, in this particular book, there's a scripture. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147.3 Okay, let's see what Joyce has to say. Per Joyce Myers, not Kimberly. Those who are brokenhearted are broken in their personality. They are unable to function properly because of their wounds. They have been deeply hurt and are unable to move beyond their past pain. It is important that we don't merely park at the point of our pain and remain there for the rest of our lives. God is in the author of new beginnings and whether we are wounded due to our own sin which I been allowing God to work with me on mine, or because the sin of others who have harmed us, we are the only ones who can decide whether to move on or stay parked. Take your life out of park and start moving forward toward the great future God has arranged for you. The Apostle Paul is a great example of someone who kept shaking off the past and pressing forward. He moved past his own sin, past the persecution he received from others as his reward for simply trying to help them. Past then fear imprisonment, beatings, abandonment, and many other painful things. He also moved past his own imperfections in his daily walk with God and said that letting go of what was behind was his determined purpose in life. Joyce was actually talking about Apostle Paul. When we are hurting, moving forward isn't always easy because our mind and emotions are telling us just to give up. Although change isn't easy and often painful, we have only two choices to endure. The pain of chance, the pain of change, or to endure the pain of never changing. It is easy to see which choice makes the most sense. If there will be pain either way, why not choose the pain of progress? To keep going forward in the midst of personal pain takes a lot of courage. You may not even want to get out of bed in the morning, let alone be active and do what life requires that day. But if you live by wise choices rather than by your feelings, you can do it. I vividly remember my father repeatedly telling me, you will never amount to anything. But with God's help, I overcame his negative words. If those who should have affirmed you tore you down with their words, you too can overcome their words by seeing what God says about you and meditating on his words instead. God says many wonderful things about you. Things such as you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139.14 You are loved unconditionally. Jeremiah 31.3 And accepted. John 6.37 You are precious and honored in his sight. Isaiah 43.4 His words include many similar truths that will build you up and renew your mind so you can think about yourself and your life the way God wants you to. Don't settle for less than the best life.
that God wants to give you. Perhaps you are facing a time of testing in your life right now. Oh, yes I am. And the temptations to quit and give up is strong. You know this. You have what it takes to go through it and experience victory on the other side. It's not too late. I'm sure the devil has told you the lie that it is too late for you. However, it is never too late for God to heal and restore anyone who truly wants him to. Declare this. God is healing my broken heart and making me whole. I love to read. And every day... My goal is to read a chapter with you all and to include you. And I feel led. Led by the higher power, the Holy Spirit, to share with whoever will listen. And I hope that it's a blessing to everyone who listens. And I wasn't on much today because I had some things I had to take care of. Still trying to get my unemployment during this COVID-19. I know I'm not the only one who's trying to get through after filling out the application for unemployment. It's a bit frustrating. It definitely takes patience. A lot of patience. A lot of endurance. Because when you can't get through, you sort of get upset. So I'm just taking every day a minute at a time. One day we'll all be back to work soon. But we all have to be mindful of getting this virus behind us all, you know. So with that being said, I've said enough for this video. And I will talk to you beautiful people later. Yes, I'm fully dressed. I'm just sitting in my bed. I wanted to be relaxed this evening. It's been a tough day. Talk to you all later. Bye.